Becoming a comedy TV star, specifically the lead on a sitcom, is a nearly impossible task. And yet if you do manage to strike gold and become a sitcom star, the monetary rewards are phenomenal. In this video, we're taking a look at the top earners in TV history when it comes to their salary per episode. Stay tuned as Facts First presents, he's officially the highest paid television star of all time. Jerry Seinfeld Jerry Seinfeld is known best for his iconic stand-up comedy and the hit series Seinfeld. It became one of the most successful and influential TV shows of all time, earning Jerry several Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. The show's popularity also made Seinfeld one of the most successful comedians in the industry, and he went on to earn millions of dollars from stand-up comedy tours, TV appearances, and endorsement deals. In 1997, he earned $1 million per episode of Seinfeld. Adjusted for inflation, that's $1,663,000 per episode, which puts him at number 7 on our list. He's also earned millions of dollars from endorsement deals, including a $10 million deal with Microsoft in 2008. Born in 1954 in New York, he began his career as a stand-up in the late 70s. He gained national recognition with his appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in 1981. That eventually led to him getting a deal to write and star in a sitcom based around his stand-up. After the show ended, Jerry continued to perform stand-up comedy and hosted the popular web series Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. He also created and produced the Emmy-nominated series The Marriage Ref and the Netflix special Jerry Seinfeld 23 Hours to Kill. Tim Allen Tim Allen gained national recognition with his appearance on The Tonight Show in 1989, but that was a drop in the bucket when it comes to his fame as it led to his own TV show, Home Improvement, in 91. The show became a massive success, running for eight seasons and earning Allen numerous award nominations. During the final season of Home Improvement, he was reportedly earning $1.25 million an episode. Adjusted for inflation, that's $2,033,000 an episode, making him the sixth highest paid TV star ever. He's also earned millions from film roles and endorsement deals. Allen also has appeared in several popular films, including the Toy Story franchise, the Santa Claus trilogy, and Galaxy Quest. He's also been on more TV shows, including Last Man Standing, which ran for nine seasons. Reese Witherspoon Born March 22, 1976 in Louisiana, Reese began her acting career at a young age, appearing in commercials and TV shows before making her feature film debut in The Man in the Moon in 1991. She continued to work steadily throughout the 90s with roles in films such as Fear and Pleasantville. In 2001, she starred in the hit comedy Legally Blonde, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination. She went on to reprise her role as Elle Woods in the sequel, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. She also received critical acclaim for her performance in the drama Walk the Line, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress in 2006. As one of the most successful actresses in the industry, Reese has earned a massive salary throughout her career, but she recently earned a reported $2 million per episode of The Morning Show, which she also executive produced. Adjusted for inflation, that's $2,120,000 per episode, and that makes her tied for number four on our list, along with our next entry. In addition to her acting career, Witherspoon is additionally a successful producer. She founded her own production company, Hello Sunshine, in 2016, which has produced several successful TV shows and films, including Big Little Lies and Little Fires Everywhere. Jennifer Aniston Jennifer Aniston might be best known for her iconic role as Rachel Green on Friends, but she's surprisingly on this list for her salary from her recent hit show, The Morning Show. For her work on that show, she won a Primetime Emmy, and it allowed her to rake in $2 million bucks per episode. That ties her for number four with Reese Witherspoon on our list. Of course, huge salaries are nothing new for Aniston, who earned $1 million per episode of Friends during the show's final two seasons. She's also earned millions from film roles and endorsement deals with companies like Emirates Airline and Avino Skincare. Born in 1969 in California, Aniston began her career in the late 80s with roles in off-Broadway productions and several television shows, but it was her iconic role on Friends that launched her to international fame. After Friends ended, Aniston continued to act in film and television. She's appeared in a number of successful films, including Marley and Me, 
The Breakup, and Horrible Bosses. She's also made guest appearances on TV shows like 30 Rock and Cougar Town. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen is an actor, writer, and producer known for his roles in both film and television. Born in 1965 in New York City, Sheen comes from a family of actors, including his father, Martin Sheen, and brother, Emilio Estevez. Sheen began his acting career in the early 80s with roles in films like Red Dawn and Platoon, for which he earned critical acclaim. He then transitioned to television, starring in the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men from 2003 to 2011. During his tenure on the show, Sheen was one of the highest paid actors in TV history, earning a reported $1.8 million an episode. When adjusted for inflation, that's $2,168,000 an episode, which makes him number three on our list. But Sheen's time was marked by controversy. In 2011, he was fired from the show after publicly criticizing the show's creator and executive producer, Chuck Lorre. Sheen's erratic behavior and personal struggles with substance abuse also made headlines. But he's continued to act in film and TV with notable roles in Anger Management, Scary Movie 5, and Machete Kills. Kelsey Grammer Kelsey Grammer is best known for his iconic role as Dr. Frazier Crane in the hit TV series Cheers and its spin-off, Frasier. During the peak of his career, he was reportedly earning $1.6 million per episode for Frasier. When adjusted for inflation, this is $2,295,000 an episode. That makes him the second highest actor in history for TV salaries. Born February 21, 1955 in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, Grammer began his career in the early 80s with guest appearances on several television shows. However, his breakthrough came in 1984 when he was cast as Dr. Fraser Crane on Cheers. He played the role for nine seasons and won two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. In 1993, he reprised his role as Fraser Crane in the spin-off series Frasier, which became one of the most successful television shows in history, running for 11 seasons and winning numerous awards. Grammer's performance as the pompous but lovable psychiatrist won him four Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Ray Romano Ray Romano was the creator and star of the hit sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond, which aired from 1996 to 2005. Romano started his career in stand-up in the late 80s and gained attention with his appearances on The Late Show with David Letterman. Everybody Loves Raymond, which was based on his own life and family experiences, was a huge success. Romano became one of the highest paid television actors of all time. At the peak of the show's popularity, he was earning a salary of $1.725 million an episode. When you adjust for inflation, this bumps up to $2,359,000, making him the highest paid actor on television ever. In addition to his work on Everybody Loves Raymond, Romano has appeared in a number of films, including Welcome to Mooseport, Grilled, and The Big Sick. He's also lent his voice to several animated films like Ice Age and its sequels. He's won several awards for his work, including an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a comedy series in 2002. He's also been nominated for other Emmys, a Golden Globe Award, and a Screen Actors Guild Award. He published a memoir, Everything in a Kite, as well as several children's books. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised that Ray Romano was the highest paid TV star of all time when adjusted for inflation? Any other names that surprised you? Let us know in the comments section below.